I'm Siri, the one who flies too close to the moon. In today's video, I want to discuss Blackpink's solo debut songs, some of which I've briefly talked about before, but looking at these lyrics anew actually changed some of my opinions, and this really is not going to be anything akin to a ranking. First of all, they have similar strengths in their songwriting, but I also don't feel like pissing off a bunch of blanks. I'm but a once who is tired of arguing with the same fan base when I like these girls at the end of the day. Anyway, we're going to analyze each song, but I think you'll begin to see what I mean regarding the similar strengths they implement. But of course, we have to start with Jenny's solo. Solo. The title really never gets more creative. But I genuinely like the song. I like how this song organizes itself. In the first verse, they present the ideas of being innocent and delicate but they contrast this pairing with paired actual statements about the speaker. At the same time, I'm Done stands out as a single moment where the speaker becomes more self-assured. Then we have a trio of questions versus a trio of direct addresses, getting very personal about the value they attribute to the subject. In contrast, in the pre-chorus, they set up this comparison that only leads into ooze and descriptions of what they are lacking. And in the chorus, they describe themselves as solo and extend the word so they can be solo without the negative effects of being singled out, since this is their decision first and foremost. In the second verse, they contrast you versus I, minimizing versus maximizing. There is also an interesting rhyme scheme here, A, B, A, B, C, C, D, 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 D. The rhymes increase in terms of their concentration and they finally implement feminine rhymes here. A feminine rhyme is when you rhyme two or more syllables creating a syntactical representation of Jenny's immense power. In the bridge we also go from the rule of three to four. We're not bound by rules. We have two similes but stop using another two for contrast. Pairing is about acceptance of defiance without pretenses. It's figurative and hopeful and cements that the song is empowering, though we know with that same extension of the word solo, you know and love. Moving on to On the Ground, there are instances of internal feminine rhyme. There is an aphra that is repetitive in itself, as well as its recurring usage and the conclusions that come from that. Later, we have internal masculine rhyming, and there is repetition that is neither an aphra or epistrophe, creating this sense of being lost while using language like just and everything, both language that is specific and that is sweeping. There's also dialogue, but specifically with the word like, so the description sounds casual and actually has even more weight in the grand scheme of things. We get back to feminine internal rhyme, though, bringing attention to the lack of rhyme with your voice in my head or message. The end of the verse rhymes with the beginning line, though, creating a restructuring effect like the speaker is able to find their old self again. In the bridge, the rhyme scheme is A, 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 B, A, the one and only pause in the rhyme scheme to establish an aphra. Every other line is a complete independent clause with or without a conjunction. It's an onslaught of emotion while being self-contained while everything needed is still on the ground. Then we have Lolisa, which I have criticized before, but like I said, rereading the lyrics surprised me. We treat the initial law as a definition set aside from the three that follow in succession each time. This is an answer to the question at hand, and those three are a fun extension that sets the tone. At the same time, I don't know if you guys know, Lalisa is not Lisa's birth name, but a name suggested would bring her success, bringing in an element of questioning what was her own doing, as well as if this is sort of just destiny, which goes beyond the central character of Lalisa. But regardless, she asks what her name is, which isn't a rhetorical question if you are to sing along with the song. In the first verse, they repeat abstract commands and they sort of conflate a bunch of different senses as well as portraying negative reinforcement when they talk about quenching the subject's sense of thirst. In the pre-chorus, there's no grammatical subject as it's not needed and the kiss my name line sounds like an allusion to Dylan Thomas talking about flying one's name in poem in October. The name Lalisa has a direct correlation with success. They cannot be separated, hence the quotations that are always repeated verbatim. In the second verse, the feminine rhyme actually allows you to get on Lisa's level, and there are internal feminine rhymes all over the place, really highlighting her strength. Later on in the bridge, they attribute importance to the name Lalisa itself, but they do say the subject will still love them, suggesting this love is defying some odds we're not really privy to. 
In the third verse, we get the idea that Lisa, as La Lisa, is exclusive but talented and readily so. Noting the specific here versus Thailand and Korea gives the song its own defined space. There's also a parenthetical about going for the throat, truly going for the jugular. And we also have a masculine end rhyme about the black and pink crown, perhaps because it is a crown and not a tiara. Finally, we have Flower, which also really surprised me, not because it had a very pretty style, but because it was organized in a way that was really appealing. In a word, it feels dynamic. We begin with a one-on-one -on -one comparison. We have a sentence ending with that, leading into one that begins with that, and then contrasted with this. There's also a lot of short lineation versus one longer line, the view that has changed completely, perhaps. It says things have changed completely, then goes back on such a strong statement, muddying the waters. The refrain is rather abstract. There is a line ending with you, leading into a line beginning with you versus sentiments about we and me. Things are convoluted and ending with lie, lie, lie compounds that. In the pre-chorus, the speaker depicts you and I, notably using the word I suggesting the speaker is to be acting despite the depiction of abstract destruction. They contrast I am with would you and they use as well rather than to, creating a bit more psychic distance. They also portray a beautiful day without a single cloud, the subjective reality without anything blotting literal or figurative sight. They also speak in past tense saying there was compounding the elusive nature of the flower. In the second verse, they say you and me now using me as the speaker is to be described. This is also contrasted with we were and being madly in love is contrasted with destruction, seemingly of something foundational to the speaker by their feet, their foundations. In the next refrain, there is this depiction of an abstract self versus it's all on you that you didn't hold on, which is obviously particular syntactically. They use passive voice when describing the onset of spring versus the sort of cheeky goodbyes that call back to the earlier lies. And in the bridge, they qualify their goodbyes to have a bold personal stance. And there is a metaphor with the speaker being a leaf that falls like dying, but in spring's era of rebirth. I really like how they use things like feminine rhyme and organization and to create a particular style for Blackpink solos. It's not the conclusion I expected I would come to when I had this idea, but I'm glad that I came out of the experience with a new appreciation for these songs, both the ones I already liked and those I wasn't a huge fan of. I know it's popular to hate on the songwriting of Blackpink songs, especially those written with Teddy, and I'm not saying Teddy didn't to some extent earn his reputation, but I do think there are positives, and like I said, I'm a once, so I personally think you should trust me on this. But yeah, leave a comment if you want to help out my self-esteem, and have a good one, but just one.